This is Oscar Bevis for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on the zone, the juggernaut. Joe Joyce joins me. Joe, thank you for giving me some time on a big week and what would be a busy week for you. We're about 20 minutes away from the press conference. How's things? Yeah, things are well. Uh, camp's gone really great. I'm ready for Tesoro and we're going to put on a big show. It's going to be a great fight, so yeah, don't miss it. Mate, I can't wait. I can't wait for the minute you two collide. Um, and it's been a long time coming. What was your first ever meeting with Derek Chisora? Yeah, the first meeting with Chisora was in the O2, funny enough, but like, I don't know, two, how many years ago it was? It was like 2018 or something. And, and a certain Mr. David Hay yeah, was yeah. in the background he as well. Yeah, yeah, burst into the arena. It was like a plan, operation, operation, and then went straight up to the ring canvas after Chisora won fight and then um, yeah and then obviously confronted him he was saying that I'm his little chihuahua or something like that and um, but was like I was kind of for the fight I wanted to have the fight then but then you know the fight wasn't happening and then I uh, you know I bumped into Chisora quite a lot and just you know got quite friendly with him and uh, he obviously wished me well after um you know, after the Zhang fights and, uh, you know, encouraged me and stuff. And I, I never thought I'd fight him. And then, like, when I was chatting with Adam and he said, he mentioned his name, I was like, oh, what's the fight? I was like, yeah, cool. Then, like, obviously the fans, it's a fan-friendly fight. I think it's a great fight. So I, I was very keen to get it made. Yeah, just talking about the relationship between not just you two, but Derek and many other fighters, perhaps other than Dillian White, where we had the tables, etc. I feel like there's always been back and forth with Derek and certain fighters, but it's never really been bad-blooded. But this week, I know there was a video of him confronting Adam Morley, or more Adam confronting him. He called the S-Jam team pussies. Um, what's your actual feeling like towards Derek? Is, is there bad blood in this fight? Like beforehand, it's, it's weird where the, there's a switch that happens, because like when we're fighting each other, then it, it all changes, and it I noticed that very quickly that it, it changed to, and we're fighting because we got to throw punch at each other. So it's all niceties have gone aside now, and like we're on opposite ends of the of the canvas of the of the ring, the ring yeah. and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna be punching each other in the face. So uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be electric and very explosive. Like I'm I'm looking forward to it. I mean, everyone's looking forward to the minute you fight, but we knew the build-up was going to be interesting. We've still got the press conference to come. Um, but 29 minutes, I think it was, on the Queensbury channel of their locked-in series, you and Del, um, it was funny. It was a bit weird at times, um, but it done loads of views, really pumped everyone up for the fight. Um, but a strange, would it be fair to say strange? 29, 30 minutes between the two of you? Yeah. It's Pull-out game? I mean... We ended a bit weird. Yeah, I, but I mean, it's could be it's, it's entertainment and it could be expected. It was brilliant. Like, it was br it yeah, was a brilliant I, watch. I just obviously I'm just my authentic self in saying what happens and you know I re react to how to certain questions, however weird they are. Yeah. Well, no, it was good, and um, I guess we can expect a bit more fun potentially at the presser today. Um, what should we expect when you two get in the ring? Because when you look at the style of Derek Chisora that we've known and loved for the last 10, 15 years and the style that we've known and loved of yours, I think everyone's expecting the fight to go one way. You're going to meet, you're going to slog it out. Is yeah, there a lot and, more and to and this I'm fight gonna win, than that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going to win, fighter, you're telling her, But is there more to it than just you two slogging out? No, it's, it's just a fight. It's a fight. It's the fight game and it's a, the fight's been made. And so, yeah, I'm just... I had a great camp in Las Vegas. I'm building up to this fight, obviously finished it, polished it off back here in the UK, adjusted to the time zone. And yeah, I'm coming for Chisora now. And it's going to be a great fight. Yeah. If you were to lose to Derek Chisora, would that be the end of the Joe Joyce road? I'm not thinking, I'm thinking about beating his ass and winning in style with elite level Olympic boxing, you know, pedigree from a lot of pedigree. Yeah, it's a question that a lot of people have asked, and especially Frank was saying when we went to the community there on Tuesday, where does the loser go from here? But that's not something that even enters your mind during this no, camp and fight process. I'm, I'm a successful boxer, and i just thinking about winning and how I'm going to do it, and what is, uh, what's going to be challenging, challenging in the fight, and where I'm going to capitalise on 
the opportunities that are presented. Yeah. I mean, Derek is obviously known to be a tough man, took hell's punishment by Carlos Takam before he knocked him out in the eighth round. Do you believe you've got the power to yeah. not just stop Derek Chisora, put Derek Chisora flat on the canvas? Yeah, that's the aim. That's what I go out there to do. I'm, uh, you know, I throw a lot of punches. I hit hard as well. I can take a shot. I've got a lot of, you know, fundamentals that I've learned from Salas and et cetera. And so, and Steve. So, I've, you know, I've had a great camp and I'm going to bring the best version of Joe Joyce into this fight. Yeah, mate, like I said a million times, I can't wait. So you're going to be fighting just over there in the O2. Um, but you both went up the O2, but I didn't know Derek Chisora was scared of heights for a big man. Yeah, I did. I did think that. I was like, why is he? Um, but he, he, yeah. But uh, you think he kind my, of got forced my, up there, pushed up there a little bit. I yeah. think encouraged but, uh, by my uh, manager Adam, he kind of like goaded him into, you know, confronting his fears and actually getting up there. I don't know if he was just time wasting or what he was doing, but he he pulled. He came. He came. Got halfway up and then came down. With like wobbly legs, but yeah. Anyway, we it was a fun day. It was a nice clear sky, so saw the view from the O2, and it's going to be a great fight. Yeah, yeah. Good to face off above where obviously you two are going to throw hands. Um, we are pushed for time because the press is starting. I've got to ask you about Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. Obviously, you're in fight mode, so I know you wouldn't have given it too much thought. Um, but I mainly want to get your thoughts on Daniel's behaviour towards Anthony Joshua. Um, obviously, yours two fight was a long time ago, and he's developed quite a lot since then personality and fight wise but what did you make of his little switch on, on AJ? I think it's a tasty fight I'm excited to see it there's obviously um, the past history there so i am just made the best man win on the night yeah okay keeping it coy Joe yeah. appreciate your time um, and just one more thing I guess we can't expect many headbutts from Dell on Saturday night I don't know I'm just wary and I'm just going to do what is good in my game and get the best results. You should come to the ring dressed as a delivery driver. No, no, it's all right. <laughs>